Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia aka Crafty Owl here with another project for Not Too Shabby. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create today with the Not Too Shabby Macaron Pet Stamp and Die of the Month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to the channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Earlier this month, I shared a card on my channel using this stamp and die set from Not Too Shabby, which is the Macaron Pets. A picture of it is up on screen now. If you would like to check out that process video, I will have it linked in the description box below. And make sure to click on the hashtag beside that because you're going to see lots of other creators making projects with the same stamp and die set. Today I'm going to make just a single card and not only will I be using the Macaron Pet Stamp and Die, I'm also going to be using some papers from Not Too Shabby's Hot Cocoa Warm Hearts Paper Pad. Now the items that are left in stock at Not Too Shabby I will have linked in the description box below. These do all sell out quickly so if you want to snag them I would probably do it while they're available. As I get into the process, I will let you know about any other products or tools that I use. If I do leave you with any questions, as always, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! I started off by choosing the three pattern papers I was going to use and that was the dark gray buffalo check, the kind of hot pink and dark gray plaid, and this hot pink with little white hearts on it. Off screen, I cut those down using the single card dimensions from the latest sheet load of cards. Here's a look at each of those pieces. Now for the sentiment, I did decide to use the back of the buffalo check and I made it a little bit taller to accommodate the sentiment and my image. For my mats on the pattern paper strips, I decided to go with a vellum. Now it's time to do some stamping. I'm going to be using the bunny and the You Make Me Happy sentiment. For the bunny, since I'm going to be coloring it with some Zig Clean Color Real brush markers, I did get out a piece of Strathmore Bristol Smooth and I ended up inking this up and stamping it twice with VersaFine Onyx Black. Because there is texture on this cardstock, I do want to get a nice crisp image and sometimes that takes a couple stamps. Once I have done that, I cleaned off my stamp and I set it up to stamp my sentiment. The sentiment goes toward the bottom of the pattern paper piece and once I have it on the door of the Misty, I did do my best to make sure it was centered and then again to get a nice crisp black, I inked it up and stamped it a couple times. To color in the image today, I'm going to be using three Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. I have the Wine Red, which is number 24. I thought that matched pretty well with the pink and white heart paper. For the cheeks and the inside of the bunny's ears and its nose, I chose number 26, light pink, and then I will be blending those out with the colorless blender. Now off to the side there, I do have a scrap of white paper, and that's just so I have somewhere to wipe off the excess color from my markers instead of doing it on the cardstock around my bunny. That just helps me conserve that Strathmore Bristol Smooth. I like to keep it pretty simple when I am coloring. I have been doing a lot lately of what I call selective coloring, where I choose one or two colors for the image and only use those, so I have a lot of just black and white in my images. When I color each area, I add ink from the marker where I want it to be the darkest in that section. So for the bunny's ears, that was at the very bottom of the open spaces. And then I bring in the colorless blender and I color that dark 
about halfway into the open white area. Then it gets brought over to that scrap of paper, the excess gets wiped off, and then I come back in and I continue coloring from the lighter pink over into the white area. So you'll see here with the bunny's ears, it is just slightly darker at the bottom of each opening. Now I am gonna let you watch me color in the frosting so you'll get an idea of how I do this now that I've went over it verbally. And I think I'll just turn on a little music while you watch me finish the frosting. If you don't want to see this, you could skip forward a minute and a half or so. Enjoy. After I had colored in the entire frosting area, I wanted a little bit more variation, so I brought my colorless blender into each section where I wanted it the lightest and just pulled off a little more color. After my little bunny macaron was all colored, I took that off screen with the coordinating die and die cut it out. I just love that you have the option to get the dies with these monthly stamp sets. All of the parts were ready, so I put together my card. The large piece of pattern paper got centered onto the front of my card base, which I cut and folded off camera and is a great top fold card. I do have an in-depth process video of this month's sheet load. I will link it in the description box below if you would like to check it out. Once I had good placement for my slightly larger sediment piece, I brought in a piece of foam tape and added it to the back of the bunny and popped it up on the card front. You know I was gonna have to finish this off with a little bit of bling. So I brought in some clear gems from my stash and added five in various sizes to the front of the card. I did want to decorate the inside a little bit as well, so I inked up that same bunny macaron, stamped it off once and then onto the center of a white piece of cardstock, and here's a look at the finished card and the decoration on the inside. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.